I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 right here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader of this device, as well as the Galaxy S22 Plus, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and the upcoming Galaxy S22 FE. Now I know that some people will say this method will not work on the Snapdragon variant, but I actually imported a unit from Hong Kong, which comes with the Snapdragon chip and also allows the bootloader to be unlocked. This does not mean that the process will work on the Snapdragon models sold in places like the United States and Canada, but it does show that both the Exynos and the Snapdragon variants are bootloader unlockable. Now I have seen a paid service advertised on XDA that promises to unlock those Snapdragon units from US and Canada, but I will not be covering that in this video. I'm not even sure if that service is still available. This video is not about bypassing those restrictions. This process will walk you through the official method of how we unlock the bootloader for the entire Galaxy S22 series of smartphones. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer mode so that we can flip a toggle labeled OEM unlock. Now, if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode so that we can reveal this hidden developer options menu, be sure to look in the video description below as I'll be including a previous tutorial that I did showing you exactly that. Now, once we go into the developer options menu, toward the top, you're gonna to see this OEM unlocking toggle. And again, we just want to tap that toggle to turn it on, confirm that we want to turn this on, and then we can exit the settings application. After the OEM unlock toggle has been enabled, we are then going to turn off the Samsung Galaxy S22 so that we can boot the device up into download mode. And again, this is something I've shown you in a previous tutorial. I'll be linking to that in the video description as well. But once we get to this splash screen, this is where we want to stop. We do not want to continue through to download mode. We just want to get to this splash screen. So just as the instructions point out on screen, we can enable the device unlock mode by long pressing the volume up button. So we're gonna long press the volume up button and it's gonna take us from this splash screen over to the unlock bootloader screen. And just again, we're gonna follow the prompts on screen. So we are asked if we want to unlock the bootloader, we will press the volume up button to confirm yes, or if you want to back out now, you can press the volume down button to cancel and restart the phone. We are going to unlock the bootloader, so we're gonna press the volume up button. That's going to restart our Galaxy S22, and it's going to perform a factory data reset. All of the data and everything else stored on the phone is going to be erased whenever the bootloader is unlocked due to a security feature. And once we see that erasing part, the phone is going to reboot again. And it's going to boot us back into the Android operating system. We have to remember though, we just did a factory data reset. So this first boot back into Android is gonna take a little bit longer than normal. But eventually it is going to boot us into the Android activation screen.
which we can then bypass really quickly. And this is going to again get us into Android where we can confirm the status of our bootloader. So once we are back into Android, we're going to enable developer mode again. and then check for that OEM unlock toggle. Now before we could go into the developer mode menu again, look for that OEM unlock toggle, and if it was enabled and grayed out, that meant that we can confirm that the bootloader is now unlocked. However, it seems on the Galaxy S22 with One UI 4.1, this is changed, and when your bootloader is unlocked, that OEM unlock toggle is not going to be present in the developer options menu anymore. We can still confirm that the bootloader is unlocked by repeating the steps, booting into download mode, and checking that bootloader unlock screen. If you are confronted with a lock bootloader confirmation page, that means your device is currently bootloader unlocked and that's why you're given that option. But that wraps up this video showing you how to unlock the bootloader for the Samsung Galaxy S22, the Galaxy S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra.